Hello everyone and welcome to our lecture about for loops in R. In the previous video we talked about while loops in R and in this video we will talk about for loops in R. A for loop is used to iterate over the items inside a sequence. Now this sequence may be a list or a vector. And if you will see this the for loop in R is not like the for loop in other language. This is more like an iterator object, iterator method in other object oriented programming languages. So without further ado, let us examine let us examine the for loop in R with the help of the R console. So the, the syntax for for loop is for x in some sequence. So here we have a vector I'm continuing the same example from the slides for x in the vector of integers from 1 up until 10 we simply print x and you see in the output we get the integers 1 on up until 10 so what it did was that for basically each item in the sequence 1 until 10 it printed that item Okay, so in the first example, we iterated over the elements inside a vector. We can also iterate over items in a list. So let us say we have a list called fruits. And in R, we create a list by writing the elements inside the list function. So let us say we have a list of fruits and the first fruit is apple the second fruit is banana and the third fruit is guava so as you can see if I print the fruits list I get apple, banana and guava in output so I can iterate over the elements inside this fruit list, fruits list using the for loop I'll do that by saying for x in fruits do print x so you see I got output 1 up until 6 so these three examples would have would surely have given you a slight flavor of the for loop an advantage of for loop over the while loop is that the for loop does not require an in indexing variable whereas the while loop does ok so the break statement the break statement is used to stop code execution if a specific condition is reached. So let's say if we continue the same example for x and die, dice. If x is equal to let us say 3. The break otherwise we can simply print x and you'll see when I press enter you'll see I only get 1 and 2 in the output because when I reach 3 I also reach the break statement which caused execution to come out of this loop ok now the next statement much like the break statement in the sense that it is also used to deal with uh, loop ex iterations so if I have if x equal to 3 next not break you will see that I won't see the value 3 in the output and you see I get integers from 1 until 6 except 3 1 2 4 5 6 and this is because of the next keyword Okay, now let's end with a game of Yahtzee. If x equal to 6, I will print Yahtzee. Oh. And with a smiley face. <laughs> Else, I will print no yard z. And 
point you will see that when i press enter when i finish writing this code you will see that i get five no yard z's and one yard z as you can see five no yard z's consecutively and then finally one yard z this is because x only gets the value six in the last loop iteration i hope with the with this game of yard z you were able to cement your knowledge of if conditions and for loops okay nested loops nested loops much like nested if conditions are loops inside of one another so if you remember we had a list called fruits that had the names of three fruits apple banana and guava and we have a list called dice which has six numbers one up until six integers so if we want to paste yeah print yeah apple one banana one guava one apple two banana two guava three guava two and so on until guava six so this was just a taste of nested for loops okay i hope that i was able to help you in this lecture and you got something out of this if you have any confusion don't feel f feel free to write it in the comment section below and i'll get right to it okay bye